that twice. Finally secured him and, of course, got his boy through Holiday. So, with that said, let's play flag football. Oh, wait, no, that was last week. I mean, let's play basketball. First three quarters, they start from zero. Winner of the quarter uh, wins and gets money for their charity. Team LeBron, oh, my. Right around Donovan Mitchell on the backboard. One more time. This is, that's, that is a quintessential all-star play. You can't disrespect somebody like that in a real game. They punch you in the face. Jason Tatum, he is just getting started as he throws it off the backboard to his own personal self. John Morant cleared for takeoff. Little double point. That's not the dunk contest. That's just him making buckets. Four minutes left in the first. LeBron James. Well, I am open. It is the all-star game in Utah. I'll make that. We're tied at 46 all at the end of the first, so we're going to split the cake for the charity. We go to the second quarter. Pascal Siakam. The Raptors. Uh, Pascal is out for C. So James told Coach Mike Malone, I'll give you one defensive stop. And he tried there and got his hand caught up in the rim. Ouch. He played through that the rest of uh, the half. And then he was done. First, John Moran. Is anybody going to stop ball? Not on this particular night. Moran only had six points, but they were all pretty fun. James, how's my hand? Well, it's okay there. Tomahawk. He said, you know, he scored the 33,000 points all time. Score. That would be his signature play was the Tomahawk dunk. Damian Lillard, 126 threes in this game. He led everybody with 20 of them, even made eight. Team Giannis wins the quarter and leads 99-92 in the total score category. LeBron, second half, says, I'm done. I'm just going to be the GM from here on out. Tatum, logo. Jerry West could make that chat, too, I guarantee it. Giannis's team is up six. Tatum. Look at look at Joel Embiid close out. Is that Embiid? Yeah. Uh, not really chasing after him. Damian Lillard. Look, we got a full shot clock. There's four minutes left. There is no reason to shoot that other than he can. And he can't make it. Less a minute. <laughs> Luke is like, come on now. Uh, Jalen Brown. Deed up by his man Tatum. Shoots over him. And then says, look, he can't. No, too small. So more post-practice stuff at the facility, one-on-one. -on -one. Tatum then undresses Brown in his mask. Tatum, 27 points in the third. That's the most in any quarter in All-Star game history. Team Giannis up 158-141. We had 24 to finish it up in the fourth. Target score is 182. Tatum, what are we going to do here? Okay, we're just going to – I am open. I mean, I've made nine. What's 10? 10 of 18 on his way to 55 points. That's a record. Oh, by the way, he missed a free throw. Who's got game? Dame Lillard, done. Team Giannis takes care of LeBron's squad. 184, 175. Giannis is a heck of a GM. Afterwards, the MVP with MRA, Malika Roseanne. Jason, we know how much that Kobe Bryant means to you, and now you have an MVP award in his name. What does that mean? Uh, it's, it means the world, you know, like you just said, Kobe was my, my idol, my favorite player. Uh, the reason why, you know, fell in love with the game and, you know, uh, I was in the first All-Star game when they renamed MVP award after him and, you know, ever since then I had my eyes set on winning it one day um, and I'm finally glad I got one. You are the first player in NBA history to have a 50 point game in an all star game the regular season the playoffs and by the way you have one in the play in tournament for good measure when did you know that this was going to be a history making night uh, I really didn't know I didn't know what the record was and uh, some way mid through the fourth quarter Dame was like yo you know the record is 52 I had like 49 and then I was like it kind of hit me like you know breaking history in the moment that was a cool thing I can be like uh, a Greg Popovich be the GM and the coach huh uh, no, I'm, I don't know. I just take a day, a day at a time, but I'm just happy that we were able to uh, get a win, and uh, I got one against LeBron, so uh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy about that. It's always good to try some things and see, you know, how we can get better with things, especially with our game. You know, it's always great to uh, have an opportunity to you know, try out new formats, new ways to, to spice up the game, spice up the viewership and things of that nature. So all in all, though, we all, it's been a great All-Star weekend, and um, I think everybody who, who's a part of it should feel really good about it. And, and, and salute to, to Salt Lake for, for hosting it. Well, then there's this. Tatum, I mean, the best night ever in this game. 
55 points. We told you the first 50 in all those different categories. Also, the previous best by a Celtic was Ray Allen with 28, but it's 5050. Kyrie Irving, good work. 32 points, 15 assists. Just the sixth player to have 15 assists in the All Star game, joining Magic, Chris Paul, John Stockton, Isaiah Thomas, Gary Payton. That's Hall of Fame stuff right there. And as for LeBron, in addition to the uh, sword digit, put up 13 points in just 14 minutes. It's the first time he's lost the All-Star game as a captain. He was 5-0. Now he's 5-1. And, and again, his finger hurts. Back to the winning GM. Giannis played about 12 seconds. Got himself a bucket. But his right wrist and hand taped up and didn't use it, as you saw right there. Banged himself up last game before the break. He carried his kids around all weekend. Got the one hoop, and then he's out. Tim Bontemps on the status of Antetokounmpo and that wrist. Thanks, John. Milwaukee Bucks star Giannis Antetokounmpo will travel to New York Monday to undergo further testing on his injured right wrist, sources told ESPN. Antetokounmpo only played the opening 20 seconds of Sunday's All-Star game, scoring the game's first basket, then committing an intentional foul and taking himself out for the remainder of the night. Antetokounmpo suffered the injury Thursday in Chicago, where the Bucks went on to win their 12th straight game entering the All-Star break and sit just a half game behind the Boston Celtics for the NBA's best record. Milwaukee will open the post-All-Star break schedule Friday at home against the Miami Heat. From the All-Star game in Salt Lake City, Tim Bontemps, ESPN. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.